Well, hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? I hope everybody is doing well on this lovely Saturday, March the 19th. Tomorrow will be my four-year anniversary on YouTube. So I'm going to say thank you to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit above all to have me be here alive. And I don't take anything for granted, not one second. For granted, I thank God for everything where I'm at in my life and that I am alive. And I want to say, um, happy birthday to everyone. This birthday is today, and happy St. Patrick's Day. We still celebrate, all right. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Hello, hello, hello. All right, and thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase my items, okay? Um, I have my candles that are made for me. This is the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. This is the Abundance, Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Wealth um, candle, all right? This is the Love Yourself candle. And this is the Justice in the Seven African Power Hands. All right, the same way you cleanse your energy with oils and salt bath, cleanse your home. Make sure your home is also cleansed with energy, okay, with, to get rid of some of them energies. You don't ever know what you collect when you go out. My oils come in dry form also. You can use this in anything that you practically are making or using, all right? Even if you got a product that's already made, you can put a couple drops in there to give you whatever you need, okay? And I don't know what you're looking for. This is the Walnut Path, it's a must. And this is my Palo Santo, it's made for me, yes. All right, and this comes with two, I mean, this is my sage that comes with two Palo Santo that is made by me, all right? Also, I have um my stones, right? And I got some beautiful stones. I got a lot of different stones. This is the watermelon stone, right? These are, um, this is the root. Um, these are regular stones, right? Um, but, um, this here is my salt. My salt. Okay, and that's chunky. And for what you pay for it, it's worth every bit of it. And you ain't going to get this side nowhere. That is the spiritual detox salt bath. This is the scrub, okay? The scrub bath, all right? And I've been putting Pisces logo on it, but I have to get a, um, a front for it, okay? I also have all kinds of herb baths. That you boil and you take a bath with, okay? Make sure you read everything about everything that you're purchasing. Let's get with the reading, Pisces. I did a lot of reading. It was quick. So thank you for all those that was over there joining me with a lot of reading. All right? I am now um, uploading everything on my online store. So in case you want to get... Oils and I didn't have it. Well, they're going to be all in stock because I'm going to go and upload them up as soon as I get done this read. Okay, so here we go. Spirit Art, Art, Joan, Art Michael and Jonah Art, can you please help me come into this reading and let me see everything I need to see. I'm also going to ask the seven African powers to hand me the hand. Give me the helping hand. And I'm going to use Embra, um, what it says, non-slip. Embra from Pisces Studio. Embra, the non-slip. Okay? Non-slip, honey. Everybody reads tell should get that. All right? Your cards don't be falling a lot at a time. All right, Pisces. Here we go. The first card you said, I hid behind... Material things. Somebody hid behind material things. 
tell me more. I left when I saw you with someone else. And maybe you left when you when they lied and never came and never took you. Said they was going to do. Or maybe the way this person communicates with you is like you don't know what to believe about them. They tell you they're going somewhere. Like when two people have some type of commitment and some type of relationship, you keep in touch with the person. This person is like a kid in high school. They don't talk to you. They don't communicate. I mean, they they very strange and weird. So I, I don't blame you if you don't give them all like you used to give them. Your time or your effort because it's like they're not worth it. Like you don't want to put in time with people like that. They want you to know I want you. But show me and tell me is two different things. You can tell me anything you want. But show me different, honey. Because this person, you don't even know what to believe about this person. You don't know what to believe about them. They got too many personalities in very strange way of doing things. Tell me more. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them. Them soon. Well, that's just the way they operate. People... People think they can come in and out of your life. It says gambling problems with addiction, gambling, or bad finance. This person probably gambles, go out and spend his money, buy a lot of weed, buy a lot of uh, liquor, spend money on clothes, probably live with their family members, don't have their own, or shacking up with somebody else, or if they do live by themselves, believe in me, they all about themselves. All right. Um, I want you gold digger. They want your money. It's like they want your money and being used. So this person, either you want some money from them or they want money from you. Or it's like you betting on them to pay off something that you that they give you towards something. Or um, you just know that you want to get paid off for them. Like maybe you got kids by them or maybe this person, you don't have kids by them. Maybe they, when they, when you met them, they used to throw money at you like it wasn't nothing. And so now you're still expecting them to throw that money. You know, and they look at you like a gold digger. Like you go after people with money, right? That's how they see you. Or that's how you see them. Now this person can be a gambler or play underground gambling or do, um, Things that are not legal, okay? Um, illegal, okay? Um, whatever they do, they collect money in all the wrong way. And are they doing something that's not legal? Right? A blind man can see that. Tell me more. Tell me more. Or, you know, it don't matter. Even if they got a job, they're doing something that's not legal. Obsession must have, just look at you, they must have you. They are obsessed with that. Probably obsessed with eating, drinking milk, eating a lot of sugar, donuts, or liquor, whatever it is, obsessed with this. You know, mm. um, um, rescuing others involved intervisions. Like you got to stop trying to rescue everybody. You can't rescue the world, honey. And it's a lot of people involved. Drama queen, thirsting, cause chaos. Somebody is causing chaos in this whatever. Third party, family, cat, whatever. If, it's, if it ain't another woman, it's a family member. But if somebody here or somebody at a job is causing chaos, all right? Let's find out some more. Tell me some more. Somebody here don't have enough business. All right? Tell me more about 
this obsession. Somebody got an obsession with food, drinking, bad habits. You need to be guidance. You need guidance. You need to, somebody's doing that inner, inner work, inner search, being led by the light. All right? Um, walking with that lantern, seeing everything for what it is, discovering something new about them. Summertime. You won't be seeing a lot in the summer, honey. This person wants to give you some love, and it seems like this person looks for you at a certain time. Like, this person likes, they look to me like they, or you get ready to meet somebody new this summer. Received. Like, somebody here is chaotic as hell and trying to get over. All right? Trying to get over big time. Trying to stay in your business. Stirring up some coffee. Stirring up some tea. Just starting shit. Between you and someone else. Chasing. Somebody here is chasing. That means you should not be giving nobody anything, they should be giving it to you. Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, narcissist. This reminds me of the page of cups. You, are you, what are you chasing? It's like you want somebody, but you got them on your mind, all right, all the time. Children's service, somebody's probably... Somebody put diapers in a case. Somebody called diapers on you or you call diapers on them. Or they're going to get mad about something that you did to them. So they're going to try to call diapers and start trouble with you and your kids. Be careful. A dirty offer. A dirty offer. This person is not right. This person want to come with an offer. But it's a dirty offer. It's not good. So be careful. Be careful what, what this person can do. They can come one way, but they're not meaning to come with good intentions. Tell me more. <coughs> <coughs> the Nine of Pentacles. You ready to pick what you harbor, honey. You ready to pick. You put the work in, so now you ready to get that money. The three of swords. Somebody damn sure digging in somebody's money here. Somebody is bringing nothing but pain to this couple. It's like a third party came and walked right into the money that you was getting. They trying to cut you off of some money. Whether it's child support, some type of support that you was gaining from somebody. Somebody's trying to cut you off. They don't want this person to help you. With nothing. Okay. The three of wands waiting. You got th two threes. So. Somebody. Like you waiting. I don't know what you waiting for. Like somebody. Look. A fight. An argument. Alright. Somebody's competing. It's like what you waiting for, it's like a lot of competition. This person may have a lot of people after him. Or this lady, she will fight for this. She want to make sure that you don't get anything from that man. Not even a damn dime. She don't want you to get nothing. She don't want him to give you anything. She wants it all for herself. All for herself. And she don't feel like he should help you with nothing. No, she's trying to cut you off. She's trying to speak bad about you so he can feel like she's trying to cut all communication, everything from you and this person. Okay? This person is something else. Tell me more about this person here. The Queen of Wands. 
very sexy, very sexual. Somebody desires this person because she's sexy. You know, she got the curves. She got everything he like. She know how to move in the bed. All right? Very Beyonce, Beyonce. Look at this. You got a Beyonce in the picture, and you got this twice. So it's a third party involved here. But it's a Beyonce that this man likes. Whoever this person is, he likes her. She turns them on. With the five of swords, you got the um the seven of swords trying to get away, sneak away. Lying, deceiving. Alright? Trying to manipulate something. Trying to make it seem like it ain't them. Like they don't have nothing to do with it when they do. They're trying to get away with something. Trying to make you... Or, or, or make you see it like what you see and it ain't what you see. And what you know, it ain't what you know. But this this person that you've been with or was with, they seem like they was in a relationship with somebody else for a minute. Or they was with you for a minute. Or they was with somebody else for a minute. Whoever is the main person, they see somebody else besides the main person. Alright? And... It's a sure enough thing because the three of swords came out twice. And whoever they see it, it's like they seeing you or them for sex. All right? And this person is with them for money, whatever that is. Okay, so you got the will of fortune. Don't try to control this. And somebody, somebody of a third party is going to fall off the wheel. And maybe you're dealing with um, Pisces Scorpio, definitely a Pisces Scorpio cancer, but somebody's falling off this wheel. And God has a big hand on this will. How is moving? Tell me more. The Knight of Cups. You've been through a lot, Pisces. So this love thing is going to move slowly. Even though the will is moving, whoever this person is, is moving real, real slow. They're not, it's like they probably left a relationship. And they're not ready to go into another relationship. Or maybe you just broke out free, but you don't want to be attached to another relationship that quick. You feel like you don't want to be a part of it. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The Nine of Cups. You getting everything you want. You know, this person want to sneak around, but they want to offer you everything. But is it too late? They moving slow as hell, offering all these nine of cups. But then again, remember, they doing that because they want to keep lying and offering you stuff that they they not willing to do. You already know this person, but you do have somebody falling off this wheel, and things are going to be moving slow to you. But nine of cups is a lot to offer a person, honey. Like the nine of cups is everything you want in a relationship. The nine of cups is close to the ten of cups. So this nine of cups is what you want. All right? But it's going to be moving slow. And this person is breaking up with somebody or leaving somebody behind. Okay? All right, Pisces. I love you. If you need a reading, get it from me or one of my brothers or sisters that read tarot. Because I don't hate on nobody. If anything, I congratulate. All right? All right, now I'll talk to you later. Bye.